Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Dimitri. Um, today we're going to be talking about um, how to create tables on SQL Server. What I have now is um, one table with data related to patients. I uh, have some uh, insurance type, first name and last name. So what I need to do now, I'm going to create a new table that talks only or takes data only from hospitals. So this means that I'm going to create a table with a name hospital. So I'm talking uh, about hospitals now. This is going to contain only a few columns that are related to hospitals. So this is the first step, the first line then what you have to do is you have to specify what columns this table is going to have so my first column is going to be hospital id so this column is going to be my primary key and it's going to be an integer because i want to identify this id as an integer so it's going to be an integer it's going to be my primary key but I also want this number to be auto incremented so I'm going to um, write identity and I'm going to start my auto increment from 100 and I want to increment this number uh, by 10 so this means that my first hospital ID is going to be 100 the next one is going to be 110 then 120 and so on okay so I'm pretty much done with my first column so it's going to be my primary key I want to be um, I want to increment the values automatically and I want this to be an integer so my second column so comma my second column is going to be city so I want to locate my hospitals like I have state of Georgia state of Florida but I want to know specifically in which city these hospitals are located so um, I'm going to have a city of type bar car 20 it could be Atlanta it could be Miami it could be uh, Tampa all right so what else do I need for this second column I'm not going to allow nulls so I need to have a city for every hospital that's my business rule okay um, this would be optional I mean maybe you have a hospital if in the middle of nowhere and it's okay for you to ignore the city but for my database for my table I'm not going to allow that so if you're close to Atlanta but you're not in Atlanta you're gonna put Atlanta for example the same with Miami you're gonna have to have a city so I have a not not uh, property right here then I'm going to separate this with commas so I have this second column I have the first column now I'm gonna have my third column so my third column is going to be state and this is going to be a bar car well usually the states the way I have it here it's a uh, only um, two characters so I don't specify the whole name Georgia Florida I just have GA or FL so in this case let's just mention two but let's just put four just I just want to leave it that way okay so this is going to allow me 
to have a restriction if someone wants to type Georgia so Georgia so I'm going to have one two three four five six seven so I'm not going to have four characters but I'm going to have seven so if I type Georgia uh, the table is not gonna allow that because my business rule says that I need only to type the state in this way that I have it here it should be a two but I'm just gonna leave it like four just in case uh, we need to add something later um okay and for this state I'm not going to allow nulls either all right so I'm going to create my last column. So my last column is going to be a zip code. So I'm just gonna call it zip. That's it. It's going to be an integer and I'm not going to allow nulls either. And I'm pretty much done with this. So don't forget the commas. If I execute this, It says that uh, it was completed successfully. So if I run this query, if I select all the values from my hospital table, I'm going to have my table. So the table is empty for now. Let's just put a few values um, in the table, okay? So uh, we're going to insert values for this scenario what I'm going to use is the insert into and then I gotta mention the table which is hospital in this case and then I gotta mention all the columns so my column one was hospital ID but because this value is auto incremented I'm not going to mention it because the SQL Server is going to generate this automatically for us. So I'm just gonna mention the second one, which is city. And then uh, I'm going to mention state. And then I'm going to mention zip code, which is zip. And then I need to add some values. So I need to add some values this is the first value, second value, and third value. City, let's say uh, it's going to be Atlanta, comma, my state is going to be Georgia, and my third value, let's just uh, make this up, uh, 23021, and then I'm going to close that. So if I run this query, and if I uh, check what's going on on the table, I'll have my first value here. That's perfect. So let's just copy this and paste it a couple of times. So we have different data. So I'm just gonna call this um, Miami and I'm gonna call this Florida and then I'm gonna call this uh, 33. Three. This one's going to be two zero. And if we execute these two values, we're going to have other two uh, rows so let's just check what's going on and you can see that we have three records now and they're auto incremented if you can see here you got 100 110 120 all right so that's pretty much how you guys work with tables i hope you guys like the video and i'll see you in the next video